Today we are going to solve a problem on roller follower with cycloidal motion. In this video, we are going to draw the profile of cam when the axis of roller follower is offset from the axis of the camshaft. Now first, I will read what is the given problem. Draw the profile of cam when the roller follower moves with cycloidal motion during outstroke and return stroke as given below. Outstroke with maximum displacement of 31.4 mm during 180 degree of cam rotation. Return stroke for the next 150 degree of cam rotation. Dwell for the remaining 30 degree of cam rotation. The minimum radius of the cam is 15 mm and the roller diameter of the follower is 10 mm. The axis of roller follower is offset by 10 mm towards right from the axis of camshaft. So this was the given question. We will first draw the displacement diagram as per the given data. Now during one complete revolution of the cam, angle covered is equal to 360 degree. So first we will select some suitable scale. So here scale 1 cm is equal to 10 degree. So for this 360 degree we have to take the total scale that is 36 cm on the axis. So here we will draw one horizontal line and on this we will take the distance equal to 36 cm. And vertical distance which is equal to stroke. So here the maximum displacement that is the stroke is given. 31.4 mm. Now if we observe the question your outstroke is given for the first 180 degree then the return stroke is given for the next 150 degree and the remaining period is the dwell period. So during period of dwell the follower remains at rest that means there is no any motion of the follower. Now we will make some equal parts for this outstroke and return stroke. So if we observe according to this scale this 180 degree that means we have to take the first distance which is equal to 18 cm and next for 150 degree return stroke we have to take the distance equal to 15 cm and for this 30 degree we have to take the distance equal to 3 cm. Now we have to make some equal part so we will select even equal part so equal part should maybe 4, 6 or 8. So we will select here the 6 number of equal parts for the outstroke and return stroke. So if we observe this total distance is equal to 18 cm. So for this 18 cm we will make here the 6 number of equal parts. So 18 divided by 6. That is each part should be equal to 3 cm. So we will make here the 6 equal parts. So we will give the numbers. So number should be start from 0. So here starting line will be at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at this 6 that, that is here is the end of the outstroke. Then for the return stroke this total distance is equal to 15 cm. So 15 divided by 6. That means we have to take here each length is equal to 2.5 cm. So this is the end line of the outstroke and is the starting line of the return stroke. So while numbering the return stroke we will uh, give the numbers in reverse direction. That is here instead here is 6. So we will start from the 6 dash. So this end line of the outstroke is the starting line of the return stroke. So here for the starting line we will give number as a 6 dash. Then next is 5 dash, 4 dash, 3 dash, 2 dash and 1 dash. And then 0 dash. So here this, this is the end line of the return stroke. And then there is the period of birth. Now here the motion is cycloidal motion. So while drawing this graph we have to take one circle and how to decide the radius of that circle. So this circle is known as the generating circle and for that we have to take the formula. So the radius of generating circle that is small r is equal to stroke divided by 2 pi. So here stroke that is 31.4 and divided by 2 pi which is equal to 5 millimeter. So in compass we have to take the distance equal to 5 millimeter. And then we have to select the line that is the end, end line of this return stroke, the end 
line of the out stroke and the starting line of the little stroke that means we can say this is the middle line for both of these out stroke and return stroke so if we observe six parts are on the left hand side and six part are on the right hand side for this line so on this line we will select one point and we will consider this point as a center and we will draw this circle by taking distance equal to 5 mm that is this is the radius so if we draw this circle again we have to make same number of equal parts for that circle so here if we observe we made the six number of equal parts for this uh, out stroke and return stroke so for this circle also we will make six number of equal parts so what is the total uh, total angle covered by this circle that is equal to 360 degree so 360 divided by 6 that means each angle should be equal to 60 degree so with the help of protractor we can start so we will start the angle from here from this point so if we observe this is the horizontal line so each angle will be 60 then 120 then 180 so again here 180 plus 60 so in this way we have to make the six number of equal parts now we will give the numbers so i will give the number from this point so here is one then 2, here is 3, 4, 5 and 6. So these are the 6 points. We will give the 6 numbers. Now we have to draw the line passing from the center. So I will draw here one vertical line passing from the center. So this is the center. Now we will join the horizontal lines. That is I will join this 1 and 2, then 6 and 3 and 5 and 4. So if I join, then we will get the point of intersection. So if I observe, we will choose that point. So I will select here on for this vertical line and this horizontal lines that we have joined, we will get the point of intersection. So this is the first point, this is the second point and this is the third point. So you can see clearly these three points. Now, these three points play an important role. Now, how to draw this profile for the displacement diagram? So, these three points are important. Now, I will tell you one important trick. So, this numbering is so much important. We have to give here one number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, this sequence should be followed. Then, if we observe, we will select one point joining the line 3 and 6. So here, these two line, two points, point number 3 and point number 6 is getting joined. So now, I will connect this point to the corner. That is important. I will connect this point to the corner. Then in the same way for the return stroke also, I have to connect this point to the corner. Now, this line or this point is because the, that is the line of intersection for this point 3 and 6. So, line is passing through the point 3 and 6. So, here is 3. So, here is 3. So, I will make the point so line number three is here for do for the outstroke and line number six is here for the outstroke then in the same way for the return stroke here the lines are given as a in terms of dash so here i will select three dash so here and six dash so here so six dash and six the same point is there so these points we have to highlight then these are the we will say we have to join these points because these are the trace points. Now again we will move for the next. So next is we will select the line joining the points passing from 1 and 2. So again we have to draw the line parallel to this inclined line. That is joining this 6 that is center of the circle and end point. So again I will take one line parallel to this. Now 
we have to take again the line parallel to this line but passing to the bottom line bottom point now if we observe this is the point of intersection for the line passing to the point 1 and 2 so again if we observe this diagram we have to select the point of intersection for 1 and 2 so here is the point of intersection and here is the point of intersection in the same way on the return stroke these points are in the form of dash that is 1 dash and 2 dash so here point 1 dash and here is 2 dash so these points are getting selected so the selection of points is important then now we will move for the next so next is the upward point that is the line joining 4 and 5 so again we will connect this line with the we will connect this point by drawing the line parallel to this main line. So I will draw here. So line should be parallel. Now again if we observe this. This line joining the points 4 and 5. So here is the point 4. So the intersection point that is the line passing through this 4 is here. And for 5 it is here. So in the same way here 4 dash and 5 dash. So 4 dash here and 5 dash here. So if we observe these are the points. So we will give here some letters to these points. So uh, in the sequence I will give letters. That is here is A. Then B, C, D, E, here is F, then here is G, H, I, Z and K. So these are the trace points. Now I will join these points. So we have to join these points with the help of smooth curve. If we observe the displacement diagram, the starting point will be at 0. So, the starting point we will say P and we will join this point P and A. In the same way, the end point of the return stroke is at 0 dash. So, we will join again this point with this point 0 dash and we will say this end point that is at the return stroke it will be the point Q. And during the period of dwell, there is no any motion of the follow. So, we have to extend this line for the period of dwell. So, in this way, this displacement diagram is getting completed. Now, if we observe the question, question for the profile of cam, the condition is given that the axis of followers offset 10 mm by the axis of cam. So, first we have to draw the base circle with center O. So, in question, it is given that the radius of base circle is 15 mm. So, we will take the distance in the compass that is 15 mm and with center O, we will draw here one base circle. Now, the radius of offset circle that we have to take 10 mm. Why? Because the axis of follower offset 10 mm by the axis of cam. So, take distance in the compass is 10 mm and with center O, draw here one circle. That is, this is the offset circle. After that, there is the base circle. Now, the follower type is the roller follower. So, trace point is at the center of this roller, that is circle. So, for that, in case of roller follower, we have to draw the prime circle. So, how to draw this prime circle? So, for that we have to take the radius of this circle plus radius of the roller. So, what is the radius of roller? So, if we observe in the question, the diameter of roller is given. That is 10 mm. So, radius is 5 mm. So, radius of the base circle plus radius of roller. 
that is 15 plus 5 which is equal to 20 millimeter so we have to take the, take the distance 20 millimeter in the compass and with center o again we have to draw one circle and this circle is known as the prime circle now we have already drawn this offset circle now the condition is given that the axis of follower that is this is the axis of roller follower that is passing through the center of the roller is offset by 10 millimeter by the axis of cam so axis of cam is passing through the center o so if we observe the distance in between this axis of cam that is this line passing through o and the axis of follower is 10 millimeter so if i take the horizontal distance 10 millimeter and from this point i will draw one line vertical in the form of dash now we have to select the point of intersection of this prime circle with this vertical line and we have to take this point as a center and we have to draw the circle that is diameter 10 mm or we can say radius 5 mm. So here is the circle. So this is the initial position of the follower. So if we observe the displacement diagram here is the initial position that is at point P. So I will say the trace point is at the center. So this center of the circle is the trace point that is this is the position P. So we have to take here the point P and the number is 0. So on the prime circle we have to give here the number. So here is the point P and here the number is 0 on the prime circle. Now if we observe the displacement diagram then the outstroke is given 180 degree. So we have to join this initial point P and this point O and from we will consider this as a base and from this we will take 180 degree angle from the for the outstroke and then again we will draw here this is the angle that is 180 degree completed then after that there is the return stroke for 150 degree so again after that we have to take the 150 degree angle so here is the end of the return stroke so I will show here this total angle is 180 degree, this angle is 150 degree and here is the 30 degree angle that is the period of joy. So as we have made the 6 equal parts for the outstroke and return stroke we have to also make here the equal number of parts. So if we observe for 180 degree that is each angle will be 30 degree. So these are the points that are getting selected for the equal parts. So for the return stroke also we have to make here the equal parts. So here each angle will be 25 degree. Now these equal parts we have to select on the prime circle that is for to give the numbers that is 1, 2, 3 and so on. So on prime circle we have to give the numbers. So how to give? So for that we with the help of scale we have to join the center O and the selected point. And here on this prime circle we have to mark here the point. So here is the first point that is I will say here the number 1. Then if I join the second point with center O, then here is the number 2. Then in the same way, here is the number 3. So I will give the numbers in the same way as displacement diagram. That is 4, 5 and here 6. So 6 that is the end of the outstroke but starting of the return stroke. That is 6 and 6 dash are here for the single line. Then again 5 dash, 4 dash, 3 dash, 2 dash. 1 dash and here is last one is 0 dash. So in this way these points are getting selected. Now we have to draw the tangent line to the offset circle by passing through the selected points. So I will draw the line of to the tangent passing through this point 1. Then in the same way I will draw the second line that is tangent to the offset circle but passing through the point 2. Then here is 4, then next is 5, then there is 6, then there is 5 dash. Then here is 4 dash, 3 dash, 2 dash. Dash and 
So these are the tangents. Now we have to use the compass and select the points. That is, here the initial point is 0, that is P. Then from point 1 we have to select the distance. So this is very small distance. So we have to transfer this distance and the next point is the trace point A. Then in the same way from point 2 I will select the next point that is the point B. So we have to transfer the distance that is here will be the point B. Then from this point there is the third point that is C. So we have to transfer. So here is the point C. So in the same way we have to transfer all the points. Then if we observe for the return strokes from 0 dash. So here is the point of intersection on the 0 dash. That is here the point Q is there. That is the end point. Then for from 1 dash we have to transfer this distance 1 dash to K. And in this way here the point K is getting selected. Then again 2 dash to Z. So again from this 2 dash that is from prime circle we have to select here 2 dash to Z. And we will in the same way we will select the other trace points. All these trace points are getting selected. Now these trace points are the center of the rollers. So again with by taking the center for these stress points that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K and last one is the Q. We will take the center and again we will draw the roller that is diameter is equal to 10 millimeter. So these are the rollers. So how to draw the profile of cam? So for that we have to join the end points of the roller. So I will join here with the smooth curve. So here first we will take P then I will join the end point of the roller with the smooth curve. Then here B to C. Then D to C. Then D to E. So we have to join the end point. Then E to F. F to G. H. I. Then here is Z. K. So we have joined all the points that is the lower points of the roller with the smooth curve with the black marker and this is the profile of cam. Now if we join all the points or all the trace points then we will get the pitch curve. So I will join here all the points with the help of the dash line. So here. So this is the peach curve.